Hello guys welcome back to a Mobi YouTube channel. Need to reset your Samsung tab but can't remember the password? Let me show you 3 ways to solve this issue. Please keep watching. Before starting, your device has to meet these two requirements. It is connected to the network, and your Google account has been signed on your tablet. If it meets the requirements, you can continue. If not, please skip to method 2. Firstly, open the browser and search for Samsung Find My Mobile. Sign into your Google account, then a map will display it on the right side, and you can see your device information on the left. Then choose the Erase Device option. Read the information about the Erase option then click Erase Device to confirm. After this, your device will be reset to factory settings, and the lock screen will be removed. Firstly, we need to free download and launch DroidKit on computer. Link is in the video description. With DroidKit, you can unlock your Samsung tablet in just a few minutes with a few clicks. Instead of that, DroidKit can help you bypass Google account verification after reset. If you forgot the Google account, DroidKit will be your best choice. Okay, let's continue. Choose Screen Unlocker, then connect your tablet to computer with a USB cable. Click Start Now, then DroidKit will prepare the configuration file for your device. When it's done, Click Remove Now. Select the type of your device, and then we just need to follow the steps. Long press power button to turn off the tablet. After the screen light off, press the volume up, power and Bixby buttons together for a short while. Release them all after you see the Samsung logo appears on screen. Here your device is in recovery mode now. You can see some options here. We need to use volume button to select option and use power button to confirm it. Okay, here we need to choose wipe data slash factory reset. Then click factory data reset. Continue to choose reboot system now. Then your screen lock will remove and your device will reset after a few minutes. Do you think these two methods are helpful, or do you have any other good way to solve this issue? We welcome you to leave your comment. We will also update more iOS solution tips daily. Don't forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.